Uh, today we got in the uh, Vizui. It's a solar camera. Completely wireless. Solar battery operated um, security camera. It's got the 355 pan and 90 degree tilt. You can also zoom. It's got forever power, uh, solar style, wireless, hassle free. Uh, some of the features. It's got uh, HD video, high definition, two-way talk. So you can communicate with, even with your pets or uh, if there's someone in your yard you don't uh, recognize, you can talk them out of there, tell them the cops are coming, whatever you need. A micro SD card takes up to 128 gig. Uh, alarm notification. Has a siren also. You can activate on motion. Uh, Wi-Fi connection uh, for 2.4 gigahertz. What's going to be in the box? We'll open it up right away, but just uh, kind of explain what we have inside. We got the camera, of course, solar panel, uh, screw pack, stickers, a uh, warning sticker. Yeah, you got these templates. You know how to mount the camera, user manual, and a Type C charging cable. open it up we have uh, to start with a little user manual quick guide installation explains it all very straightforward a security sticker you can put out as a help also as a deterrent and the manual. Put the QR code to download the app. You can either use the uh, Apple Store or Google Play. Free app. But step by step explains it all. Very straightforward. And I'll run through it also. And first off is the solar panel. Nice big solar panel with uh, lots of cable. Because sometimes you'll want to have the camera in one spot, which may be shady or not always sunny, but you can place the uh, solar panel so it gets the best sunlight. Type C. Charging cable. Mount. Screw pack. This is the actual camera mount. And the camera itself. Yeah, you can feel the weight, it's good quality. Got the antennas, so you can get uh, the best Wi Fi reception. So, yeah, and in the bottom here, where is where you'd put your SD card, there's also the reset button and a button to connect the Wi Fi. And also, like I mentioned, you got your templates. You just stick them on wherever you need to put the camera or the mounting brackets and pre-drill holes. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, some of the features on the camera. Let's go over a few spots on the front of the camera here. You got your indicating lights, top. You have your LED lights for uh, for night vision or to light up for night video. You have your camera lens obviously and there's a mic pick up two-way audio so you can actually talk if you wanted to say hey what are you doing in the yard or whatever you can talk to and you can hear what's happening. And uh, photosensitive cell 
just so it knows what day night and pick up uh, then there's the motion sensor just under here pick up motion and obviously start recording if that's how you have it set and I already went over the bottom put your SD card in got a reset button and a power button I just got it charging right now so I'll let it charge a little bit more and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to download the app okay in the manual just uh, just to get the app very simple you either go to your uh, app store for Apple or Google Play and you can search for cloud edge on Apple Store or Google Play to download the app or you simply scan the provided QR code depending on which device you have so we'll get the app loaded onto the phone okay I already have Cloud Edge on my phone because I have a similar camera system so we'll open her up the app and you just gotta log in first off so I'll get logged in okay once you sign up with your email the password you just log in I already have one camera hooked up we'll just go to home that's the one I currently have but we'll go add device add device and now we got to scan for the device which well it's going to ask you which one you want to download because it has a whole list here we'll go with the battery camera press and hold the device power button to start the device see it talks right to you so let's grab the camera okay press and hold the power button you can just see inside power button red light comes on and then you can hit next Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Hold Wait reset. for the indicator light to flash red. Okay, reset button on the left. Three, four, five. There you go. Then next. Select a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. So you got to find your Wi-Fi connection, select it, make sure it's the right one, next. It likes to give you tips along the way, so it's a very user friendly. Please yeah, remove all film from the lens, tap next to show a QR code, and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone five to eight inches from the lens. Remove the cover, protective cover. Okay, once you got it connected, you can change the device name if you want, especially if you have more than one device on the app. So I'll just punch in a name here. And then done. And then it tells you about charging. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. There you go. So you can mount it, but we'll just get it going all first. And there we go. There is an option for cloud storage if you want more data space or use your SD card. But we won't uh, worry about that for now. Okay, once you're uh, in and it's hooked up, you can uh, you can see some of the things you can do here. You can take a screenshot, takes it there and saves it. You can hold and talk. When you hit record, just hit record. You can see it flashing record. You hit it again, it stops and it, and it will store it. Hold and talk. We don't want to do that. Motion detection. You can set the sensitivity on it. Uh, you could have a safe power mode. There's quite a few features you can set. 
you just have to scroll through it and check it out. You got the light. Woo! So you can see how that'll light up things at night. Uh, pan tilt zoom. So you can pan it. You can see that? Can you see it actually moving down there? You can go up, down. Very cool. Very handy. And you can go full screen if you want. Very clear picture. Very clear. So like I say, quite a few options. Full color mode. And your album. When you record anything, it'll store in your album. You can download it if you want later. Or do whatever you want with it. So that's basically how it runs through. That's how the app works. Um, I'll get it mounted and we'll test it from there too. I'll show you how easy it is to mount. Okay, I'm just going to get the templates. Da, da, da. Template for the solar panel. So simply go up and stick that up. I think right here will be good. It's got a longer cable, so it's got room. Put her where you get your best sunlight. And I need the camera. Yeah, it's the camera mount and the template. Okay, I'll pre-drill those holes. You just slide her on once you have the mount mounted. And you should hear a little click. Snaps in place. And then you screw the uh, cords together. And make sure that's nice and tight. And that'll kind of keep the weather out also. And then I'll, I'll just tack these wires up in place properly so it looks a lot better. And we got the panel getting the most sunlight. Should work good. And there we go. Nice clean uh, install. Now let's go test the app. See what we see. Okay, so just pull up the app. Make sure you're on your right camera because you can add multiple. And there she is. She's up. And we can, uh, let's see, move it. Well, you can see me in the video there. We can move the camera. Back the other way. You can move it down. See if anything's going to be eating the vegetables in the garden. Back up. I got it over here also so I can... Uh, to see the vehicles there we go and you can go full screen even better beautiful you can zoom in and there we go if you have any questions just ask in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and there will be a link in the description if you want to get one, please do.